Welcome to Vienna. You might be wondering what I'm doing here, what these guys are doing here, and what especially this guy is doing here. But that's what this series is all about. We just took an incredible tour of three of the most beautiful and historic cities in Central Europe. And we're ready to bring that entire journey to you through this series. Let's go. So this whole journey began when I was contacted by an organization called Trova Trip back in the spring of this year. And they explained to me that they were an organization that specialized in creating these travel experiences for YouTube and Instagram and other content creators and their subscribers. And I thought that sounded really intriguing because I was always looking for ways to include people in my adventures, uh, especially to these historic sites, but I never really knew exactly how to go about that. So I started doing a little bit of digging, started talking to some other people who had used uh, Trova Trip, and then I actually had a couple of meetings with them, live video chats with folks from Trova Trip, and I was really impressed and I was sold on their process. And how their process worked was this. We started out by putting out a survey uh, to all of you who are watching this channel and uh, well over a thousand of you filled out this survey saying you'd be interested in a trip. You specified what times of the year you were able to travel, what your budget would be for something like that, and what the places were that you'd like to go to. And at the top of that list, was Germany. So I started looking into their various trips and a lot of their trips are, are built around the idea of uh, travel and ex exploration, things like that, not necessarily for history. But I found one that really interested me and it happened to be Germany and Austria. And so as we did a little bit more digging, I eventually decided on an itinerary that would include the cities of Munich, Salzburg, and Vienna and would be almost exclusively history related and I thought that would be perfect these are places I wanted to go to anyway so we went ahead and set up the trip we set the budget we got everything ready to go we put it out for sale and within a few hours of the 24 spots going up uh, for booking it was booked fully booked now in the intervening months we had a few people who dropped out a few people who weren't able to go and we ended up with 20 people started communicating with these folks we had an email chain going back and forth eventually about two months out from the scheduled trip we were all added to a group chat on telegram and we started getting to know each other we started getting to learn a little bit more about where we were coming from who we were what our interests were we started building up the excitement for the trip we even had a zoom call where we uh, many of us got to introduce ourselves and talk a little bit about what we were looking forward to and that brought us to the day when it was time to travel to germany All right, it's time. I got my camera bag on one shoulder. I've got my backpack on the other shoulder. I got my suitcase right here. Time to head to the airport. Oh, I've got my Celsius drink for a little extra energy this morning, kind of dragging this morning. I don't think I slept well last night. I was too excited about the trip. So off to the airport. So we got into Atlanta a little early, so I've got a good three hours until it's time to board my next flight, my flight to Munich. Uh, in the meantime, I'm gonna enjoy the, the Delta Lounge here, which comes with my, uh, not only my uh, travel credit card, but also my ticket for this particular flight. So I'm gonna enjoy a little bit of food here. Just got some Spanish rice uh, along with some chicken and uh, made myself a little mocha latte and we're going to connect to the Wi-Fi.
me. <laughs> Welcome to Munich. I just got dropped off about a half a block from my hotel. The road's closed off for through traffic, but uh, fantastic. About a 40 minute drive from the airport into the city. Now we're gonna see if we can get into the hotel this early. Been uh, walking around for a couple hours here. I got uh, Benjamin. Ben, what do you prefer? Ben's fine. Ben's fine. All right. And Michael's here. Yeah. Mike and I've met before. We met in uh, in Antietam and Gettysburg, and uh, so we uh, just went up to Allianz Arena where Bayern Munich play. And now we are making a stop at the uh, Perlacher Forst, and I'll tell you more about that when we get there. Hi, my name is Don. I'm from New Hampshire, USA. Hi, I'm Dominic and I'm from Toronto, Canada. I'm Kanan and I'm from Waco, Texas. Hey, I'm Scott and I'm from Salt Lake City, Utah. Hi, I'm Brad and I'm from Southern New Hampshire. Hi, I'm Carly and I'm from Houston, Texas. Hi, my name is Ben and I am from Minnesota in the United States. Hi, I'm Bobby, I'm from London in the UK. Hey, I'm Andrew, I'm from Ontario, California. G'day, I'm Rani, I'm Anna, and I'm originally from Australia, half German, and currently living in the UK. Hi, I'm Joe, I'm from Yorkshire, England, uh, living in London. Hi, I'm Kareem, I'm from Houston, Texas. Hi, my name's Pam, and I'm from Houston, Texas. Hello, my name's Kevin, I am from Michigan, Chris's favorite home state, very happy to be here. Hello, I'm Christian, I'm from Norway, an illustrator, I live in Oslo, I'm Harry. Austria right now. Hi, I'm Toby. I'm from the Waco, Texas area. Michael Scheffler from Maryland, Kleinikenstadt. Hi, my name is Joshua. I'm from Houston, Texas. Yeah. Okay, my name is Vashik and I'm from Prague. Hi, I'm Jonathan. I'm from Chris's real favorite home state of Ohio. And uh, yeah, it's great to be here. Yeah. And last, but certainly not least, is our fearless leader. Fearless leader. Yeah, we're gonna let him introduce himself here. Hi guys, uh, I'm Sammy, I'm a tour leader, and I've been showing this group around for the last week, and it's amazing. So. And he's been doing a fantastic job, right guys? Yes. yes. Yeah. We haven't officially begun our tour yet. That begins with dinner tonight, but uh, most of us have gathered here in the Marienplatz, which is kind of one of the main town squares here in Munich. Uh, and we're doing a very touristy thing, but you see behind me what we call the Glockenspiel, which uh, a lot of Americans would know about cuckoo clocks. Well, this is kind of a big cuckoo clock, basically. And at five o'clock is one of the times every day that we get treated to a little show. So we're gonna take a look at that.
Slow What's it? Slow uh, Slow yeah, this is uh, Jason Myers. Take the lead. 